Welcome back. We are here looking at the commodities market and the precious metals market. It's going to be my daily forecast for Tuesday, May 18, 2021. If you like to support the channel, you're welcome to hit the subscribe button down in the corner, hit the like button and the bell button to see our new videos. And we'll start by looking at the US dollar index. And as you can see, we are just approaching the previous lines over uh, lows over here, not lies, but lows over here. And we're trading at 1914 at this current stage. Technologies are all looking very bearish. And if we manage to take out these previous lows, then we are most likely heading towards uh, 89.66 and then 89.17. Uh, rallies from here will most likely find major resistance at the 20 exponential moving average at 1976. So let's look at oil. So oil has rallied yet again today. We are up more than 1% and it looks like we are going to test the previous uh, or the top of the bullish band, which is at roughly at the at 67. So that is also where we found major resistance over here. And we'll also probably pull back towards the middle of the bullish band or probably the 50 moving average when we get to 67. Technical indicators are, well, all over the place. MACD is uh, flat, stochastic is flat, CZI is bullish, and RSI is bullish at this point. So 20 exponential at uh, 64.21 has offered major support in the past. So let's look at natural gas. So natural gas really took off today, and this is becoming, um, well, very surprising, to be fairly honest. So there are a few things here. First of all, the previous highs, highs over here, they have been absolutely trashed. So we are not looking at this target anymore. We'll probably have a pullback here as we are significantly outside of the bullish band and we're also significantly oversold. Technical indicators are very, very bullish indeed, but uh, pullback at this point, this is not sustainable when we get outside of the bullish band like this. But the next target here will most likely be all the way up here at uh, at 3.387. So if this trend continues, then we are looking at the previous highs over here. This was all the way back in uh, this was all the way back in uh, October last year when we got towards 3.39 when broke down towards the 200 moving average. Now it looks like we are bouncing off the 200 moving average, and we have taken out these previous highs, and we are targeting this at this current stage but the pullbacks at this point are highly expected so let's look at copper so copper continues to rally we had three days where this has started to fall that's part at this point it looks like it's going to turn around it's not going to target uh, 20 exponential but instead going to target uh, 4.86 for two technical indicators are Still fairly all over the place. MACD is becoming bearish, stochastic is bearish, CCI is bullish, and the RSI is flat at this current stage. So long-term target here will most likely be five. So let's look at gold. So gold has uh, really took uh, took off today, and uh, this is a massive move for gold. The reason for that is because broke above the 200 moving average, broke above the 61.8 Fibonacci retracement. So at this current stage, we are most likely going to head towards 1900. We are over, overbought at this point, but breakdowns from here will mostly find that the 200 moving average will be uh, supported uh, and uh, we'll have the 20 exponential moving this way, crossing the 20, uh, 200 moving average, and that will really catalyze this uh, to the upside. So there are a few targets here. There is uh, the previous highs here. That is, give or take, 1959. Uh, if we manage to take out that level, then we're looking at 2000 and beyond that. So, yes, really good move for, for gold indeed. And the 200 moving average has been broken. So let's look at silver. So silver, very similar here. We are trading at $28 uh, dollars, and uh, we are also on the edge of being our bot, significantly overstretched. So pullback could be expected here. So we're running into a territory where we have had major problems in the past. You can see how often we have tested this 
area here and have not managed to break through it. So we got close here and then it broke down. So I wouldn't be surprised if we have a pullback tomorrow. Probably went towards uh, 27.5 or the middle of the bullish band at the 26.74. But technical indicators at this point are very bullish. So we could continue, but we are overstretched and on the edge of being overbought. So let's look at Platinum. So Platinum has also taken off today. We found uh, support here at the 50 moving average and it's just doing more of the same. It is just bouncing off at the top of the bullish band, the bottom, the 50 moving average, and just heading slowly up to 1300. At this point, we're most likely going to head towards uh, 1258. Technical indicators are all turning around and becoming very bullish. So let's look at Pallium. So Pallium has also turned around from the bottom here at the 2794. It looks like if we manage to take out the middle of the bullish band, that will go back towards uh, 3000. If you look at technical indicators, they are fairly mixed. MACD is still uh, bearish. Stochastic is becoming bullish. CCI is flat. RSI is flat. So um, this was probably as far as this went, basically 2797. And take out the middle of the bullish band, that could open the door to uh, 3000. So let's look at aluminium. So aluminium has had a really good day today. We fell last week towards support, and now it looks like we're going back towards the top of the bullish band. We had a quite a big pullback here at uh, 2,500, but technical indicators are all favoring the upside as well. They are at least turning around. So the MACD is still bearish, the stochastic is still bearish, but they are rounding off. And when you have three days of rallying here, they will most likely continue to turn to the upside and if we were to break down from here then 24 19 will most likely be where this will find major support so let's look at nickel so nickel continues to rally we found support here at the middle of the bullish band at roughly at 17,000, and now we're trading at 70,000, not 870 uh, 75 Technical gears are all turning around, and uh, if we manage to take out these previous highs here, a uh, give or take 18,179, then we're going towards 18,500, and then towards 19,000. So let's look at sugar. So sugar continues to uh, dwindle here. We're finding uh, problems at the 20 exponential. So we tried to rally, but uh, 0 0.70, uh, 1704 is where we find resistant. Breakdown from here will most likely find a major support down at the 50 moving average at 0 0.1622. Technical indicators, they are all looking very bearish indeed. So momentum is definitely to the downside. So let's look at cotton. So cotton as well, we are just falling and falling, and at this point, it looks like um, rallies will mostly be find major uh, resistant at the 50 moving average. If we break uh, below here, then the uh, then the previous lows down here is uh, 0.77.0902, sorry, will be uh, tested, and the 200 moving average all the way down here at 0.7580. Technical indicators, all of them are very bearish indeed at this point. So let's go Kokoa. So Kokoa has rallied to the top of the bullish band and then giving most of those gains back. So um, yeah, if you look at this, it looks like we are trading in a, in a square of the, the very tight range. So. Uh, the highs of roughly uh, 22, uh, 2547 and the lows here of uh, 2308. So if we manage to break above here, then we'll probably go to the previous highs here of uh, 2.6. Break below here, mostly open the door to 2.2. Uh, Technical indicators, they are, well, very mixed. MACD is bullish, stochastic is flat, CCI is bullish, and the RSI is flat at this current stage. So let's look at wheat. So wheat is uh, struggling underneath the 20 exponential. It tries to rally and breaks down. And uh, we found the bottom here, 
but roughly, yeah, we could fall a little bit further. Probably, yeah, we're around the area where I expected. So 690, give or take. It's the previous highs here that are offering quite a lot of um, support. If this breaks, then we have the 50 moving average down here at 666. Technical indicators do favor the downside. So momentum is definitely still to the downside. So rallies from here will most likely find problem at the middle of the bullish band at 720. So hope you find this helpful. You want to support the channel by subscribing, hit the like button and the bell button to see our newest videos and your good luck and thank you very much.